I wish you good fortune in the wars to come. All right. And now it begins. No. Now it ends. Mm -hmm. Okay. Welcome to Let's Watch TV. Thank you for clicking on the video. All right, so we up to episode three. Now, if you watched my episode two, you know I was not surprised by John's resurrection. And here's the thing. I kind of hate when shows or movies do stuff like that. You have this emotional death or event, and they find a way to erase it with either time travel or a dream sequence or uh, some Lord of the Light magic. Now, in this case, I will let it slide because I'm very curious if people are going to accept this, like meaning, will he come back and be the Lord Commander? Honestly, the only thing he needs for that is Tormund's acceptance. Because if Tormund decides he's back and he is Lord Commander, then all of the Wildlings decide he's back and he's Lord Commander. And if he has the Wildlings on his side, then who the hell cares what the 25 or so Night's Watchmen think? Honestly, you better jump on board or get ran over. And can I just take a second to give Tyrion his flowers once again. Listen, so we all understand Tyrion is one of the wittiest and the smoothest talking characters on the show, right? But last episode, this man actually smooth talked two dragons to be on his side. I mean, think about it. He just got to Marine. He doesn't know those dragons at all and was able to talk them into being on his side. I mean... Can you just imagine, I mean, listen, if there's a scene in this show with Tyrion looking like a beast riding one of these dragons, I'm falling out of my chair. It's over. I'm done. I give up. That's it. It's too much for me. I can't take it. Can you imagine Cersei's face if he rolls up on a damn dragon? Yo. <laughs> Anyways, episode three. Let's check it out. Going into shock because he remember being murdered. What do you remember? They stopped me. Ollie. Mm. You put a knife in my heart. I shouldn't be here. The lady brought you back. Afterwards, after they stabbed you, after you died, where did you go? What did you see? Nothing. There was nothing at all. The Lord let you come back for a reason. Stannis was not the prince who was promised, but someone has to be. And now is John. What about, uh, Gendry? a moment. No, you're not. That's completely fucking mad, it <laughs> seems to me. I can only imagine how it seems to you. I did what I thought was right. And I got murdered for it. And now I'm back. <laughs> Why? I don't know. For revenge. Maybe we'll never know. What does it matter? I failed. Good. Now go fail again. Sir Davos. Sir Davos. They think you're some kind of god. The man who returned from the dead. I'm not a god. I know that. <laughs> I saw your packer. 
What kind of god would have a peck of that small? <laughs> you lucky I like you. Still brown. Is that still you in there? I don't think so. You better say yeah. Hold off on burning my body for now. Yeah. That's funny. I knew it when they didn't burn his body, he was coming back. You sure that's still you in there? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, what's going to happen when he sees Sir Alistair? Sam! That's right. Forgot all about my man. You all right? No. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, he's not ironborn. Did I ever tell you I used to think the sea was called the sea because it was nothing but water as far as the eye could see? I don't think so. Sea. Sea. They're spelled different, but they sound the same. If she say C one more time, they do. It was before I learned how to read, obviously. <laughs> Sam, are you going to be sick? I mean, he clearly already is sick. <laughs> I'm excited to see Old Town. The captain says it's the most beautiful city in Westeros. The Citadel doesn't admit women. There won't be a place for you there. Half a little, Sam. I stayed at Castle Black. There's no women allowed there. The Citadel isn't Castle Black. I don't have a, a Jon Snow or Maester Raymon to help me bend the rules. Damn, he didn't already tell her this? So, if we're not going to Old Town, where are you taking me? To my home. Hornhill. Oh, okay. Yeah. My father's... Well, my father, but my mother's a kind woman and my sister's lovely. Uh, they'll take care of you both. Excellent. Wherever you go, I go too. Oh, that's shit. That's what you said. Come on, Gilly. You know that's better for you. I said that because I want you and little Sam to be safe. Us and everyone else in the world. I don't care about them. Well, no, I do. I don't really. <laughs> Damn, I, I thought that. about you and him. I know that, Sam. And he does too. Damn, how old is that kid? You're the only one who ever has. We trust you. I'd feel better if you threw something at me and stormed off. I'd never do that to the father of my son. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's my guy. And yeah, who the hell was that? That's Ned. That's my father. <laughs> the man beside him is Howland Reed, Mira's father. Sir Arthur Dane. The sword of the morning. My father said he was the best swordsman he ever saw. That's a young Ned, too. Like young, young. Lord Stark. I looked for you on the Trident. And we weren't there. Your friend, the Usurper, would lie beneath the ground if we had been. The Mad King is dead. Rhaegar lies beneath the ground. Why weren't you there to protect your prince? Our prince wanted us here. Where's my sister? 
I wish you good fortune in the wars to come. All right. And now it begins. No. Now it ends. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, who went down that quick? I mean, just drop your swords, man. Where the heck going that? Alright, well, I see why he has the greatest implication as the greatest swordsman ever. Four on one. Ooh. Damn, that was nice. Oh, shit. Let's go, Ned. Better than my father. Farmer. Mm. So how the hell did Ned make it out of this? My father beat him. Did he? I know he did. Heard the story a thousand times. Oh shit. Him in the back. I mean, so what's in the tower? I want to see where he's going. Yes. Hold up. Don't. Oh. Why did you do that? I know. Take me back there. I want to go back. No. Even he though I do know I don't want to see what was going on up Maybe in that castle, but. He heard me. The past is already written. The ink is dry. I don't I think it is. There. I've told you many times. Stay too long where you don't belong, and you will never return. Why do I want to return? So I can be a cripple again? You won't be here forever. But before you leave, you must learn. Learn what? Everything. Damn, that was an interesting-ass flashback. Kind of shit she about to have to deal with. Ana chori kem kali vejvena. Tishi shila kiera. An havena serak meera dakshores le shul. Ini. Kiven dergiye vos eso kishan irge khal drogo drivo. Man hand a neris vaziol. A hage a samva. Yere meshi. A kisha i meshi shkash kashi. Vos ma ai kisha im kota inosho. Shiraki <laughs> 
Yeah, we'll see. If we could have the room. Now, who the hell is that? I feel like I've seen it before. You look lovely today, my dear. You really do. If you're going to torture me, just call them back and get on with it. I am not a torturer. Though it so often is what people deserve. It. And it does provide answers. But they're usually the wrong answers. My job is to find the right answers. Do you know how I do that? I do it by making people happy. I'd like to make you happy, Valor. That's your name, isn't it? Valor. <laughs> That's all right. I know who you are and what you've done. And you've helped the sons of the Harpy murder the Unsullied and the Second Sons. The Unsullied and the Second Sons are foreign soldiers brought here by a foreign queen to destroy our city and our history. Well, that makes perfect sense from your perspective. I have a different perspective, of course. I think it's important that you try to see things from my perspective, just as I will try to see them from yours. Because that is the only way that I can make you and Dom happy. That is how you pronounce it. Dom. Such a handsome boy. Those big brown eyes. Good luck keeping the ladies away. You won't torture me. You'll just threaten my son. Children are blameless. I didn't threaten anybody. I have never hurt them. Your boy is in no immediate danger. This, I swear to you. But between us, dear, you did conspire to kill the Queen's soldiers. We both know the penalty for that crime. How will poor Dom get on without his mother? And with his breathing problem? If I tell you anything, yeah. they'll kill me. So either you kill me or they do. Yes. From your perspective, this is a problem. There is a third option, though. A ship leaving tomorrow for Pentos. I've already booked passage for a woman and her young son. I'll even throw in a bag of silver to help you start again. The boat sails at dawn. You need to decide now. A new life for you and Dom. Or... Lord Varys. Mmm. Okay. That was my first time seeing him actually at work. That was impressive. What should we do while we wait? To pass the time. What should we do? What should we talk about? A wise man once said, the true history of the world is a history of great conversations in elegant rooms. Who said this? Me. Me. Just now. I mean, he's pretty wise. You took your time. Sorry. I was busy learning who funds the Sons of the Harpy, some things you can't rush. You found out? The good masters of Astapor and the wise masters of Yonkai, with help from their friends in Volantis. The masters speak only one language. They spoke it to me for many years. I know it better than my mother tongue. If we want them to hear us, we must speak it back to them. May it be the last thing they ever mm. hear. You may be right. So we will fight them? Possibly. Possibly. It's a conversation. Tell me, can your little birds get a message to the good masters of Vastopol? Of course. Men can be fickle, but birds I always trust. How's your mother's jaw? Better. And your father? No one's seen him. And no one will. That worked out rather nicely. Will Lord Ferris ever come back? Hey. I don't think so. You miss him? He was nice. He called us his little birds. He gave us sweets. It's funny you should mention that. Guess what I happened to find? 
<laughs> now remember, if any of your friends like sweets or need help, they can always come to me. All I need in return are whispers. I mean, he is literally stealing Lord Varys's stick. No need wow. to be afraid. This is Sir Gregor. He's friends with all my friends. Varys's little birds. Your little birds now, Your Grace. What did you do to him exactly? I haven't been able to get a clear answer. Oh, uh, a number of things. Does you understand what we're saying? I mean, to the extent that he ever understood complete sentences in the first place. I'm saying, it, Jamie, he understands just relax. well enough. So <laughs> tell him to march into the sept and crush the High Sparrow's head like a melon. The High Sparrow has hundreds of faith militants surrounding him. Sir Gregor can't face them all, and he won't have to. He'll only have to face one. As the faith level official charges you. Not yet. That's just one trial by combat I look forward to watching. Don't stop at the city. I want little birds in dawn, in high garden, in the north. Who cool. is the is faith militant gonna get to games, fight the I damn mountain? If someone is laughing at the queen who walked naked through the streets covered in shit, I want to hear. Cool. Listen. I knew she was about to go on a reign of terror. Kyburn is worse. And I don't I blame her. Honestly. Him. He's arrogant, dangerous. You don't I get thrown out of the citadel without good reason. Grandmother. No one to my advice. So, here we are. I mean, this is the we oldest small council this, in this history. Experiment. And I, for one, think it will be in our best interest to have the beast destroyed. Hey. <laughs> Can I help you? Why are you here? My mother. I was invited, my yeah. dear. I mean, to help deal with several did he just bark or issues, actually shit himself? Such as the Queen's imprisonment. Thank you for bringing it up. This is a small council meeting. You have no position on the small council. I'm the Lord Commander of the King's Guard. The Lord Commander of the King's Guard does have a position on the small council. Okay. Yeah. What about Marcella's death, Uncle? Do you consider the murder of your own blood a troublesome issue? We've got a lot to discuss, all of us, together. And seeing as you cannot make us leave, we best get on with it. Okay. No, we cannot make you leave. And you cannot make us stay. Not unless you're going to have that thing murder us all. I mean, she might. Again, if the king was down there, oh. Uh, of course. My mother would like to see her daughter's final resting place. Oh, I'm sorry, Your Grace. That's not possible. Not yet. When will it be possible? When she's fully atoned for her sins. She must stand trial before seven septums, so we can learn the true extent of her sins. I want you to let her see Marcella's resting place. I am the king. You are. And what does that mean to you? It means a great deal to me. Chick. The crown and the faith are the twin pillars of the world. Do you know who told me that? Your mother. My mother who is unclean. My mother who still needs to atone after all you've put her through. I mean, just kill his ass. There's a great deal of falsehood in Cersei, you know that. But when she speaks of you, the mother's love outshines it all. Her love for you is more real than anything else in this world. Because it doesn't come from this world. But you know that. You felt it. The hell's yes. your point, man? It's a great gift. Your Grace, do, may I? Do you mind? It's, it's my niece. Of course. 
I'll, I'll trust when anything your you mother do. made her walk of atonement, she did it to get back to you. I still don't understand why you want to put her through any more than she's already endured. It's not what I want. It's what the gods want. Please. Uh... If we're to be just and good, then we accept it, all of us, even kings. A true leader avails himself of the wisest counsel he can, and no one is wiser than the gods. My grandfather once said something similar. I was thinking that. Except for the part about the gods. The gods work through him whether he knew it or not. There's so much good in all of us. The best we can do is to help each other bring it out. Who is the hand of the king right now? This kid needs advice. At all times, he should never be alone. Who are you? No one. Hey, damn. Who were you before you came here? I... Aya Stark. <laughs> Tell me about Aya Stark's family. Her father was Eddard Stark. She had one sister. And four brothers. <laughs> Three brothers. And a half-brother. John. And where are they now? They may be dead for all the girl knows. I'm say everybody's dead. Tell me about the hound. <coughs> also dead. <coughs> mm. she get, oh. I was just about to say she get in nice. Aya Stark left him to die. He was on her list. He was not on her list anymore. Mm. She had taken him off it. Why? Didn't she want him dead any longer? She did, and she did not. Who else was on Aya Stark's funny little list? <coughs> Cersei Lannister. <coughs> Gregor Clegain. Walder Frey. That's a short list. Amen. That can't be everyone you want to kill. Are you sure you're not forgetting someone? I mean, if you want me to say you. Which name would you like a girl to speak? I mean. Get on my nerves since I got here. I mean, I'm not stupid enough to answer that question any other way. <laughs> Hell no. Uh, no, 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 nope. This is gonna give me my eyes back? Hey. If a girl is truly no one, she has nothing to fear. Ah. Who are you? No one. No one. Let's go. Arianna was faithful to him again. When my father became Warden of the North, your house refused to pledge their banners. Your father was... 
Damn. My beloved father, the warden. Your father was a and that's why you killed him. Mm. He might have done the same to my father if he hadn't have done me the favor of dying on his own. My father was poisoned by our enemies. Mm. Why have you come to Winterfell, Lord Umber? The bastard John Snow led an army of wildlings past the wall. We're farther north than any of you fuckers. Wildlings come down, we always have to fight them first. So now you've come seeking help. We need to help each other. You think a horde of wildlings can take Winterfell? If they get Jon Snow leading them, maybe. He knows his place better than we ever will. Yeah. Pledge your banners to House Bolton. Swear loyalty to me as Warden of the North. And we will fight together to destroy the bastard and all his wildling friends. I'm not kissing your fucking hand. <laughs> Traditionally, a banner man kneels before his lord. I'm not doing that either. Why would I trust a man who won't honor tradition? Your father honored tradition. Knelt for Rob Stark, called him King of the North. Was Rob Stark right to trust your father? Then it appears we're at a bit of an impasse. Fuck kneeling and fuck oaths. I've got a gift for you. I prefer what is red. This? What's going on Girl. here? Aye. <laughs> a wild one. Oh, shit. Oh, sure. Oh. I like the wild. Is that Rickon, too? Under boy. Nice and young. The way Karstadt likes them. I think that's him. But he about Rickon 10 Stark. years older. How do I know that's Rickon Stark? Welcome home, Lord Stark. Uh, uh, uh. Hey. It's time. I don't even know what to think about that. Damn, get my head back in the game. What's going on here? Damn, he about to hang them all? Is Ollie up there? Mm. If you have any last words, now is the time. Mm. I had a choice, Lord Commander. Betray you, or betray the Night's Watch. You brought an army of wildlings into our lands. An army of murderers and raiders. If I had to do it all over, knowing where I'd end up, I pray I'd make the right choice again. I'm sure you would, Sir Alistair. I fought. I lost. Now I rest. But you, Lord Snow, You'll be fighting their battles forever. Mm. But I'll still be fighting, though. Yeah. Damn, nothing, Ollie. I think Ollie was young enough to where he could have granted him a little mercy since he obviously was, you know, going along with the plan. She burned the bodies. 
You should. What do you want me to do with this? Wear it. Burn it. Whatever you want. You have Castle Black. My watch is ended. I mean, technically, you know, you're part of the night's nice watch until you die. All right, excellent episode. I can't wait to go back and watch that scene with the younger Ned. I want to get a better understanding of everything that happened right there. And the fact that I haven't seen Osha and Rickon in, I, I mean, for, for was it, like two seasons? I don't think they were in the last two seasons. And they show up as Ramsey's prisoners. This damn show, man. Damn. Anyways, lots of good stuff in that episode. Can't wait to get to the next one. I hope y'all come back and check me out. Peace.